What is going on fellas and welcome back to the 126 rebuilds here on NCAA 14. I've been asked so much about Wisconsin Crow, can you do Wisconsin? Today we're going to do them. They come in as a 5 star school, 86 overall, 93 offense and only an 80 defense. I should hope there's a lot of freshmen on that team if they're only 80. Target spin per year of 10 in the Big Ten. Look at this. We got a tight end, right tackle, left tackle, running back, linebacker, DT. This is a very, very solid group right here. All right, we start off with a five-star defensive end interested in the squad, a tackle and a center. We already have two offensive linemen. Granted, the rosters didn't deceive me. I mean, you guys have been asking a lot for Wisconsin, and so far, it's looking like it's going to be a fairly simple rebuild. So as you can see, after putting in the freshmen well majority of them we now have a 90 offense and a 76 defense meaning we're pretty garbage and being in the big 10 i don't expect us to win a lot of games this year definitely not 10 though no chance we'll win in 10 the ranked two person in the entire country that is an absolute steal mate there's also a four star outside linebacker five star athlete oh my goodness this team is about to be unbelievably stacked this is going to be really really difficult right here because there is what seven people here all of them are amazing but we don't really have the points to like go across you know what i mean might just start with 200 points on all of them yeah i knew we we're gonna lose to ohio state down spiral starts right here all right so around the midway point of the season we do pick ourselves up a running back a center strong safety free safety right tackle wow we're five and two year two might still be difficult i don't think we're gonna crack 10 wins this season uh, especially going up against iowa who oh wow they're not that great either okay never mind oh look how we finished the season boys we did pick up everybody we could have probably made more of that but uh it's all good and i'm very surprised that we are actually nine and three so if we do win this bowl game we will be advancing to ten and three we do get our 10 wins per season currently ranked 18th which is better than where we started actually hold on a second i got something for this rebuild right here what do you guys know about Addison Pennington, the man, the Madden 17 dreadnought himself, bro. He came from Wisconsin. Why haven't I put this jersey on? Ah, yes, now we're guaranteed to do well. All right, we do lose a lot of people in that first year. A lot of seniors. Nobody's a 90, though, which is good. Still not good for us, though, going forward. Okay, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I just saw some little inside information there. In our first year, we signed the number one class in the country. Four five-star players, ten four-stars, four three-stars. This is just the best possible start we did drop a prestige because we didn't go 10 and 4 which is just absurd can't go better than that rank one in the nation still some work to do but that was a very successful first season oh look at that lionel sullivan he is the top ranked person in the class and only minnesota is standing between him and us we do need some strong safeties we need a dt we need athletes we need offensive linemen this is wisconsin that we are rebuilding right now if we don't have the best offensive line in college then this is a failure right here athlete i'll take that cornerbacks there is unfortunately no cornerbacks. Like there might be some three stars that turn out to be a little something something. But for the most part, these guys aren't looking very flash hot. And that's one thing that we need is cornerbacks and safeties. Woo, this guy went up to a 77 overall. And now all we need is a good safety. There goes Brad Vincent, 79. Oh my goodness. The only problem is we're not going to be able to get a free safety because that guy is trash. Hopefully one of the athletes we find can make that transition. Some of these cornerbacks, on the other hand, are looking pretty nice though. There we go. There's a cornerback slash safety right there slash quarterback. We have another cornerback right there as well slash running back. All right, that's a pretty good start to the season. We get a DT, so that completely finishes the D-line. We get two offensive linemen, so we only need one more to complete the O-line. We got a cornerback, so that means that we need to get a couple more cornerbacks, one more offensive lineman, and safeties. And then after that, the team is completely done. There we go. We sign a receiver, strong safety, another receiver. We got way too many receivers. Luckily for us, though, we fill out the linebacker position, so that's done. Cornerbacks, now that we sign three more, are done. Um, and we got an offensive lineman. This team is coming together. This might be the last season. Look at this class, bro. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. There's not even enough people left in the class to even sign, mate. 
So we go eight and four. Hopefully that doesn't mean that we drop down to three star prestige. I'll be keeping an eye on it. I wonder how we did though. Because that class we signed was pretty dang good. We signed the number one class last year. It's got to be the jersey, right? It has to be. <laughs> this guy's transferring. Get out of here. We don't want you. We lose a 99 overall running back, a 99 overall center, who's going in the third round apparently, and a couple of other 90s as well. We lost a lot of people, but we'll be fine. Might be a little bit shaky in season three though. All right, we got a top five class this time. Not quite number one. Ah, I'm so disappointed in myself. You're doing a bad job, Crow. How did you not get the number one? We got number two. <laughs> We were one spot away from having back-to-back -back overall rank one seasons. We do get one five star, nine four stars this time, eight three stars. Unfortunately, we dropped down to a three star prestige. We got to start winning games. This guy, Anthony McDonald, is a freshman and it says he's on a hot streak. He hasn't played a game in college yet. So that's the first time I've ever seen that. So <laughs> let's hope this guy can dominate. In fact, who's wearing number 52 right now? Because I got that 52 jersey on. I can't find who's wearing 52, mate. Good. That's Penn's number. I mean, I'm saying this probably, I sound like a broken record at this point. The whole team is done. I am going to be putting it on computer to, you know, recruit here. See what they can come up with. For a three-star school, there should still be a lot of interest in this Wisconsin team regardless. Just because I want the best for this team, I'll at least go ahead and add a whole bunch of great prospects on. You know, the computer will go ahead and start recruiting these guys by themselves. I don't want like 40 overall players getting recruited, so I'll at least set them up in a good spot. Season 3, we're a B plus. Very nice, I like that. 88, 93, and 83, so the defense is, you know, these are all year 5 guys. Let's go ahead, simulate this, see what happens. All right, looks like we had a pretty good season. The computer goes ahead and signs some pretty nice people. These are the people that we put on the board. Thank you, computer. I did not know that they actually would go after the people that I suggested. And we got a kicker. We go seven and five, but <laughs> that's not good. That's not what I'm looking for. We're down to what, a two-star school now, maybe? I mean, this game, man, I know there's no patches coming out for it or anything, but man, there should be like a limit to how far you can drop. It's not like seven and five is terrible. What's it's not good, but yeah. All right, our quarterback breaks every record that Wisconsin has to offer. A lot of other records been broken as well. He's still got another season to go, remember? All right, we got a crappy backup leaving. That's fine. He can go to Marshall. Best of luck to him. We don't lose any 90 overalls, though. That's really, really good. The only problem is we're going to have to redshirt a lot of our starters. Yeah, we're down to a three-star. Oh, that's so tough, man. I don't know. There's no way we go down to a two-star, right? It's impossible. Literally impossible. Okay, so there is obviously, as you can tell, a lot of people that are going to need it to be redshirted. This is going to hamper our success again. Because we are in the Big Ten, even if we were to drop to a two-star school in the worst case scenario, which I don't feel is correct, that shouldn't happen. In season five, we are going to be extremely overpowered. We still have a very good team to send out there. Couple of 90 overalls, a lot of high 80s. It's just, you know, the seniors, the 97 overall quarterback will not be there for for this season ah yes b b minus and b this is what we look like when we're not stacked with our seniors all right good luck to us oh look at that the computer i did a little experiment here right so we got chip hughes amazing 69 overall we got a lot we got two 69s last year i put in the people that i wanted the the computer to go after and it paid off really well this year i let the computer just go out and the class is garbage hey and now i know what i gotta do in the future always learning in these five-year rebuilds that's the crazy thing give me a test i need an iq test on ncaa 14 recruiting mate so we go six and six in season four does that mean we're a two star now we're not gonna get fired i know that but i don't know man something's not right about this <laughs> our security is low it's like every single year just a little bit worse then a little bit worse then a little bit worse all right we got two people transferring one of them being both of them are homesick Jeez, that is uh that's not good for us hopefully that left guard doesn't give us a problem you know what i mean Wide receivers is 4 over 90. Tight end is a 92, 89, 85. Offensive line is pretty good. You know, we got 190, a lot of high 80s. Left end is 92, right end 93, DT 93 and 87. Linebacker is a 94, middle linebacker 88, outside 85. Cornerbacks, pretty dang solid. They will go up a lot. The free safety is an 87. Again, that'll go up with the boost. And our strong safety is a 90 
with 99 XL, man. This team better go to the Natty, otherwise I'm gonna be pretty dang mad. Check this out. We are A pluses across the board. We are the better team. We're also dropping the most points in college football right now. We're playing at Michigan though. We are currently ranked 12th, they're ranked two. Can we get this dub? 35 to six? Bro, our offense is overkill right now. Like, we're 99, but I swear, we must be like 107 overall. All right, so right now, we're ranked two in the nation on a 9-0 record. To round off the season, we have Purdue, Illinois, and Minnesota. If we beat Michigan 35-6 to in Ann Arbor, then we should go undefeated this season and go to the Natty. That's what I'm thinking, at least. Checking it out. We are ranked number one in the nation. We have to play Michigan again. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick up this dub. Looking like we got a natty on the horizon. We lost. Bro, how? 43 to 46. I can't imagine, man. Michigan is going to get their revenge. Rip us. On the plus side, we do get the Heisman in a landslide, which is, you know, that's good to see. We're taking on the rank eight Akron Zips. Bro, they're C plus. This is the most ridiculous finish ever. Like, how would, how is it? I'm going to drop 100 on these guys. Our Heisman winning quarterback had 3,700 yards, 52 touchdowns, and four picks. On the Russian end, we had two running backs over 1,000 yards. Our quarterback had 271 as well. Receiving end, we had Eric Branch on 1160. 66, 19 touchdowns. Hayden Rucci, 717 yards. Pretty solid all around. Blocking pretty nice. And on the defensive end, wow, look at these sacks. This is the most sacks I've ever seen before. Holy crap. 36 sacks. That's pretty dang cool. We also had, what, 4, 7, 10, 14 interceptions as well. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go absolutely destroy the Zips. 77 overall, there should be no problems. White and red, I gotta say, is just an amazing combination. <laughs> Look at that jersey. This is silly. 12 Adidas strategy. We're gonna wear this. Let's go ahead and simulate to the second half. I imagine we'll probably be our big in this game. We're actually letting these guys compete. Like, how is it 7-0? All right, let's do a return then. Oh, crap. See? See, is that too difficult, computer? Look, it's my first time in the game, and I take it back for seven. That was not... Oh, there's a flag on the play. Oh, see, that's not hard, though. Yeah, I'd be angry too, coach. This is more like it right here. 23 to 6. Finally, the game has woken up. Go, Dunkarino. Look at you, Dunkarino. Up the sideline. Woo! Come on, get that block. Duncan all the way to the house, man. Just tearing this defense to shreds right now. It's too easy, mate. I'll call Co Flats up the entire field. <laughs> They're going to fall for it again? Wow, imagine. Imagine falling for the same play again. Let's go, Duncan! What a beast, bro. Isn't that two kick return touchdowns? We're going to still drop some points on these guys, hopefully. 60 bomb, there we go. Got him. Touchdown. Let's go. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better about losing to Michigan right there. Great rebuild all in all. It's just that one game at the end that cost us. We lost by three points. Checking out the stats. Mertz, 357 yards. I did throw a pick, but uh, he had a pretty bad day on the percentage, the completion percentage. Yeah, the computer kind of mucked around a little bit. Randy Tyler had a touchdown as well. On the Russian end, pretty standard stuff. Six touchdowns, apparently. And on the receiving end, Lester. We were the person who got this guy involved. He had 210 yards. Hold on. Let me go check out these kick returns. On defense, pretty standard stuff. No interceptions at all. Any force fumbles? Nope, no force fumbles. But on the kick return side of things, we had 149 yards with Dunkarino, 95 longest, and a touchdown. On the punt side, he had 115, man. So he had, what, 260 yards on punt returns. That's crazy. That's going to wrap up the Wisconsin rebuild. For you guys out there that asked for this, hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. A little bit unfortunate at the end. But if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And for me personally, I'm out. Peace.